Hey guys, let's talk about defenders. You know, those somewhat useless magic creatures. In my opinion, well, usually in my opinion, if it can't attack, it's not really worth using. But, I want to tell you about two different combos in a defender deck. One, I found out from a guy I played against, and one... I'm not saying I'm the one that made this, but as far as I'm aware, I'm the one that made this combo. If... If I'm not, then... Whatever, it's still a good combo. Probably better if I didn't, but whatever. The first combo is an infinite defender mana combo. First, you need at least one Axbane Guardian. I have two for consistency. And at least one Galvanic Alchemist. The trick is to get a bunch of defenders on the field, such as Mnemonic, Mnemonic Wall, Murmuring Phantasm, Archer's Parapet. I'm not going to go through the whole deck list right now, but you get the idea. The more defenders you have, the more mana you get with Guardian. His effect lets you tap him to add any to add X mana to your mana pool. X obviously being the number of defenders. Otherwise, I would have told you all those names for nothing. So as soon as you can do that, play Galvanic Alchemist. You use its Soul Bond effect to pair it with Guardian. Any time you tap two in an island, you can untap the creature it's paired with. So, let's just use the cards I told you about as our field. Okay? We've got an Axbane Guardian paired with Galvanic Alchemist, four Mnemonic Walls, one Murmuring Phantasm, and two Archer's Parapet. I'm gonna use... Let me see... I'm going to use Pokemon cards to represent the mana we add to our mana pool. Obviously, green Pokemon cards will be green mana. I'm not sure where any blue ones are right now, so we're going to use brown ones to be the blue mana. Alright, so first off, you start your turn. Draw a card, whatever. Do what you do in your turn. Then you tap Axbane Guardian, and you get 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8 mana. So let's make one of that mana blue. So we've got a blue mana, and 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7 green mana. Okay, we're, in, we're doing good. We can play pretty much anything. Tap that blue and two of the green to untap your guardian. Tap them again to add, let's just add, two blue and one, two, three, four, five, six green. Tap a blue and two green, untap them, do it again. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Let's do it one more time just to be safe. One green, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and the rest of it blue this time. So let's just do a quick count. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine blue mana. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight green. Now let's just let's ex let me explain the other combo while I've got all this mana. I'll tap. A blue and a green of that to play Doorkeeper. Two green and a blue for Galvanic Alchemist. I'll pair it with Doorkeeper. Doorkeeper has a mill effect. It's pretty much the same as Guardian, but instead of adding mana, your opponent mills X. To do that, though, you have to tap two and a blue. 
So, I'll end my turn. My opponent's turn. Back to my turn. I'll tap Guardian for 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8 mana. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. We'll get 3 blue and 5 green. Tap for Galvanic Alchemist. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. We'll only get green this time. Then tap for Alchemist. Just, you know, pretty much whatever. You see the infinite mana thing. The more you can tap, the more you can do whatever. But, you know, let's just play more creatures from our hand for, you know, for whatever reasons. Now since, obviously, for this example, we have creatures that cost up to five mana, let's just use some actual land cards to represent what our field would have been. I'll just grab five blue and five green, so that's five forest, five island, and that's our mana base other than what Guardian added to our mana pool. So let's assume we have the perfect hand. And we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven more defenders. We'll tap a green and two blue of the actual land cards and play another Axbane Guardian. Tap an island and a forest for doorkeeper. Do the same, another doorkeeper. Tap the remaining land, pillar of war. Um, and let's leave all the mana in our mana pool. Actually, no, let's get more. Let's tap Axbane Guardian for 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. Um, this time, I think I'll get it all in blue. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, and 13. 13 blue mana. Again, the brown Pokemon cards are the blue mana. So, let's just... Let's Doorkeeper our opponent to death. You tap Doorkeeper, a blue mana, and two anything. Your opponent will now mill 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13 cards. In case you didn't know, mill is when your opponent discards the top any amount of cards of their deck. Or library, as Magic chooses to call it, but you get the idea. So, you know, they just lost 13 cards. Let me... I'm not going to demonstrate my opponent's stuff. The field... The, the floor I'm using for this is pretty crowded. I'll, I'll, do an, I'll do a shot of it in a little bit. So now... We'll tap, just get rid of three of the blue in our mana pool, and untap Doorkeeper. Do the effect again. Tap him, your opponent mills 13 more, so that's 26. You know, by this late in the game, they've bound to be down to, I don't know, 40 or less cards. So, let's tap three more blue to untap Doorkeeper. Tap three more blue for the effect they mill. 13 more, so that's 26 and 13, 39. You know, why not do it again? Untap them because of Galvanic Alchemist. Then, for his effect, tap another 13. That's 39, 49. Well, as long as they stick to close to 60 cards, as long, and as long as you can get a bunch of defenders, you pretty much win, but I'm going to use up all the mana in the mana pool just to be safe, because I'd like to get the Pokemon cards out of the way for when I do the view of the field. 
After I do that, I'll give you an entire deck list for this. Obviously, you won't have to go by this if you want to make this deck. The only cards that do matter 100% are Doorkeeper, Axe Bane Guardian, and Galvanic Alchemist. Now, back to just getting rid of the mana. So, we'll tap to untap, tap to mill. Tap to untap, tap to mill. We're down to just two blue, so let me see if I have anything that costs just two blue. Nope. Well, I'm going to get it out of the way anyway just to do it. Alright. So, this is what the field looks like now. If you didn't get a good view of that, I'm sorry. I only have a forward-facing camera. You may have just seen my legs, and I apologize for that. Now, let me get everything picked up, and I'll give you the deck list. This will take me a second, so I'm just going to explain the basics of the strategy. Just, you know, to reiterate. Get a bunch of defenders on the field. Get either Doorkeeper or Axe Bane Guardian. Both works best, so you can play off of both of their effects at once. But, you know, as long as you have enough mana without Guardian, you can just do the mill combo with Doorkeeper. Or if you just want a bunch of mana to play defenders. I'm pretty sure there's a defender that... Yeah, there's Lobber Crew, which is red, so it obviously wouldn't work in this deck, but you don't have to use, you know, green-blue. You can use green-red, so, so you can use Axe Bane Guardian and Lobber Crew. Or no, you don't even have to do that, just Galvanic Alchemist and Lobber Crew, so... I don't know, red-blue defenders might work. Keep tapping that thing a bunch of... Untap... Tap and un... Actually, no, you'd have to do red, green, blue because the infinite mana combo, the infinite burn combo, and the blue because of Galvanic Alchemist. But, whatever, just, you can make your own variations to this deck, but as long as they're good defenders, there's probably an infinite combo. And this isn't usually something I can do. Most infinite combos are expensive, like the infinite zombie combos, let's see, there's Infinite Zombie Tokens, Infinite Zombie Mill, Infinite Zombie Life Loss. I tell you, that Grave Crawler really gets you. Um, I'm pretty sure there are more Infinite Zombie Combos, but there's Infinite Sliver Tokens, which I have yet to see anyone successfully pull off. But it, it exists. So, this deck can be made for about... I don't even know what to guess. Probably $10 or less? I already had most of the cards for it. All I had to buy was Galvanic Alchemist and Mnemonic Wall. So, that was about 2 bucks at most. I don't know, just grab a bunch of defenders, make sure you have the mana to play it, and it should work. Alright, now let's go over a deck list. I've got two Axe Bane Guardians for the mana. Three doorkeepers for the mill. Four galvanic alchemists, because they really don't need explaining. If I have to explain it again, y'all just need to leave, basically. One murmuring phantasm, because I'm not going to explain any of the cards from this point on unless there's a specific reason. Basically, it's just blue and green defenders. There are some that have a specific purpose, but this is just a 0-5 defender. We've got two... Yeah, let me make sure. Yeah, two Wall of Frost. I was going to put Coral Barrier in here, but I needed that in my... my Sultai Sea Monster thing. I don't know what to call it. It's just... I improved on the Kiora deck from Elspeth versus Kiora. Anyway, one Guardians of Miletus, four Mnemonic Wall, 
they have a reason, but if I tell it to you now, it's going to give away some of the deck before I need to. So, they have a reason. It'll be obvious in a little bit, if you know the effect. When Mnemonic Wall enters the battlefield, you may return target instant or sorcery card from your graveyard to your hand. Keep that in mind. Got two archers pair of it because it's a cheap green defender. I obviously don't have any black mana in this deck, so I can't use its effect. Except, obviously, with Guardian. So, anyway, Pillar of War. Two Monastery Flock. Ah, this one's good for getting out the mana. Gate Creeper Vine. You can either get a basic land or a gate out of your deck and put it into your hand. Alright, now we're into the instance and sorcery. The instance. We have no sorceries. This, these are the reasons Mnemonic Wall is in here. I could have used some other defender with a lower cost, but Dispel. Four Cancel. One Nullify, one Bone to Ash, one Dissolve, three Negate, one Mana Leak. You gotta make sure your defenders get to stay around, so if your opponent tries to hurt them with a source, with an instant sorcery or whatever else, counterspell it. And then we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. 12 Island. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. 12 Forest. Now, like I said, the deck is cheap to make. If you want to use more expensive defenders, go ahead. It's your money. But, you know, if you use something that's not going to work quite right with this, it's really going to hurt you. There's a sliver that gives sliver creatures you control defender so you know if you want to do defender sliver infinite whatever go for that I don't think that sliver is very expensive but if you're running slivers please never use that one I don't see why it even exists a lot of the old slivers were bad but slivers aren't the point defenders are the point there are a lot of defenders in the Ravnica block which most of this deck is from that block. Some of it's from Theros, but I'm pretty sure... I'm pretty sure Mnemonic Wall was in a core set or Ravnica or... I don't know, somewhere along there. Most of the counter spells were from then. Some of these are from Khans. Dragons, Fate Reforged, whatever. Galvanic Alchemist is... Yeah, I'm thinking that's Dark Ascensions, but I'm not 100% sure. Galvanic Alchemist is the single most expensive card in this deck. They run about a quarter a piece at most. No, at least. They're less than a dollar, but they're more than a quarter. I'll just leave it at that. So... Alright, I've got some stuff to tell you about future videos. I'm not sure which order it's going to be in, but since I referenced my Kiora deck, I feel like I should do that one either next or after another one. Uh, I'm going to do it at some point. Probably, I will definitely do it next week because, you know, it's, it's interesting... It might... It's it's a little bit slow. It shouldn't be slow, but it is. And here's the, here's the thing. A lot of channels do opening videos. I can't really afford to do that. But there's one thing I really want to do an opening video of. It's something I've mentioned a bunch of times before. It's the new dual decks, Zendikar versus the Eldrazi. I'm not sure when exactly I'm getting it. If I get it online, I'll probably be able to do a video of it. Hold on, looking at the calendar. I know, sometime within the next few days to a week. I don't know. Hopefully within the next week, but if not, 
it will be after the Kiora deck. So, you know, I'm not going to be able to do openings as often as I'd like, so... Yeah, this is basically... A, hey, look at this! So, yeah, keep an eye out for that. I'll probably make another announcement about that. I know none of you probably care, but for those of you that do, there's that little bit of information. See you next time.